Hi, I'm your host, Danny Giesbrecht, and this is Go Edmonton. And today we are taking you inside a hidden gem here in the city. It's a home away from home for different artists and businesses, everything from very creative, colorful visual artists to stop motion animators to tattoo artists to even food trucks. Stay tuned, we're gonna take you inside this world. But our lead story takes a look at the spirit of giving. So let's get started with your hot button question. How do you decide which charities to support? Brian LaBelle says, if they don't pay more than minimum wage, they'll burn their staff out and my donation is wasted in my opinion. Jack Turnbull says, we begin with issues that have affected our families first. And from Ed J, the ones that advertise the least, if at all, also like to support local charities. When a group of St. Albert students lost the money they had raised for space camp, they had to ask their community for support, not once, but twice. Here's Shanti V's Bianca Jade. Here we have one of the artists that works out of Blue Skies. This is Kim Sala's work. Uh, she's inspired by her environment, lots of color, earthy tones, uh, and does a lot of layering. The detail here, if you can notice what this shape is, she's actually torn away tape and then painted and then torn away more tape so you get this cool speckled layering effect. She's not in the building right now, but we will be introducing you to Scott Cumberland later in the show. You may have seen him on a past episode of Go Edmonton. Plus, a gluten-free chef who actually teaches cooking classes out of her space. Stay tuned for all of that. But recently, a 20,000-year-old bison skull was unearthed near Edmonton. And Sean TV's Tim Dancy has the full story. I'm your host, Danny Giesbrecht, and this is Go Edmonton. If you're just tuning in now, we're at Blue Skies Art Slofts and Market, getting to know some of the artists that use this space. And coming up in the show, we're going to meet Alicia Durant. She is a gluten-free baker. She's a chef. She also teaches cooking classes on how to make foods that are gluten-free. We're going to get to know her in just a moment. But over the weekend, the Edmonton Oil Kings won the Eastern Conference Championships for the third straight year in a row. So let's take a look at some highlights from their winning game. As the public becomes more and more educated on celiac disease, gluten-free baking, cooking, and catering is becoming more popular than ever before. I am here with Alicia Durette of La Oliva, and this is a business that you operate out of Blue Skies. Tell me how you got started. Yeah, I got started last October. So I was diagnosed with celiac disease uh, in December 2012 and realized there was a need for more gluten-free caterers in Edmonton. So that's when I decided to open my business and I found this spot and fell in love with it right away. So It's a wonderful space and you teach cooking classes here. Uh, any kind of cooking class, even if someone's throwing a bachelor or bachelorette party and wants to come make some gluten-free cupcakes, they can come see you. Yes, exactly. So I offer private bookings for small groups of 10 and under. Um, like you said, a bachelorette party, birthday party, <laughs> all those kind of things. It's a lot of fun. They can come in here. We design a menu and they learn a lot of easy and fun gluten-free um, meals. Dishes to make. Yeah. Uh, tell me about some common misconceptions that the public has about celiac disease or gluten-free food in general. Um, I'd say that most people think when they hear the term gluten-free that something's missing and it's going to taste off or not the same. Um, however, I, I cook with a lot of naturally gluten-free foods, so the food itself doesn't taste any different. And when it comes to baking, it's a little bit trickier, but I've started mastering that side of it <laughs> and you can't tell that it's gluten-free whatsoever and it's a, it's really healthy for you because I use a lot of almond flowers, coconut flowers, a nice. lot of yeah, Ooh, more higher good. protein and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And what exactly is gluten? I think that a lot of people yeah. usually get confused about what gluten is. So gluten is a protein found in wheat, rye, barley, um, and it's also cross-contaminated. So some oats are contaminated because they're processed in a facility where there's some wheat. Okay. So yeah, it is the protein and it holds uh, things together. So that's why it's hard to bake without it. Gotcha. Uh, and what's it like to operate out of this space here, Blue Skies? It's wonderful. Um, there's so many different entrepreneurs roaming around the building. So you can always chat with a um, fellow artist, artist yeah. or whoever. <laughs> and it's just nice to have people to to talk to you all the time because I'm by myself all day long so it's nice to have that community concept in here. Heads popping in, yeah. they smell something delicious, they coming by actually, for lunch. They actually come by and they're like, oh Alicia, you're just killing us here, it smells so good all the time. And I'm like, I'm sorry, you can come in and taste. Yeah. 
yourself? Your website for more information. My website is www.laoliva.ca. Excellent. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs>